Hi everyone and welcome to my next video tutorial which is going to be focused on integrating Django Cache Cleaner within our Django applications. So once we set up this library and get it set up within our project, we'll be able to clear our cache essentially by either using the Django admin panel or via a management command. And I'm going to show you how you can set it up for both ways. So as always, the first thing that you need to do is to ensure that you have a simple Django project set up. So let's go through the fundamentals. So you just want to make sure you have a Django project. And as you can see here, I also have a Django app here called CRM. And it, while it is not 100% um, necessary as of this moment, but it would be helpful um, to ensure that you can use this package to the full extent is to ensure that you also have a Django model here present. So here you can see I have a model here called post with a few attributes such as title, content, created on author. So this is just for something extra that you can utilize for this package. So make sure you've created a model if you have one set up in your project and that you've also gone ahead and registered that particular model as well. So as you can see in admin.py, I've also gone ahead and registered it accordingly. All right, so just make sure you've got that set up if you so desire. All right, so that's the first thing you need to have set up in into place. Now let's go ahead and dive into the package. So we want to go ahead and install it. So what you wanna do is we can go ahead and copy the following line here of instruction. So I'll just zoom in to make it a bit clearer. So I can go ahead and just copy this here. So pip install Django cache cleaner. You can then go ahead and stop your terminal and you can just go ahead and add in the following command, which is pip install Django cache cleaner. So go ahead and install that package. There we go, it's installed. Next, you want to add cache cleaner to your list of installed apps. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the following cache underscore cleaner. Do you want to go to your project? Then you can navigate to your settings.py file. After which you want to scroll down to your list of installed apps here. And you just want to add in your quotes, add in the following and add in a comma at the end. So cache cleaner, very important that you do that. Next thing that you want to do is you want to run python manage.py migrate so you can migrate the default database files that come with this particular app slash library cache cleaner and you can run python manage.py migrate. Perfect. Once you've done that, you want to restart your application server. So what you can do is you can just go ahead and rerun python manage.py run server as follows. And there we go. So our server has been rerun. So what I always like to do is do it twice just for clarity. So make sure you run your server so all those changes are enacted. Great. So as we can see here with this package, you can easily use the Django admin to clear your caches using the admin panel via the following instructions, or you can use the command itself to clear a default cache, individual caches, or to clear all caches. Now I'd recommend running this command here, which will be a lot easier for clarity. So first I'm going to show you how you can do it in the command line and then how you can do it with Django admin. So to clear all caches, what you can do is you can go ahead and copy this command here. So pi.sammanage.py, clear cache, dash, dash all. Then you can head on over to your command prompt, stop your server, go ahead and add that command in and press enter. And that's going to clear your cache here. So your default cache and all other caches which may be part of um, a preset in your application. So that's how you can clear your cache. Now let's say you want to do it the Django admin route. So you would need to head on over to Django admin. So that is easy to navigate by putting in a local host forward slash admin. And then you will head on straight there. Just make sure that your server is running if you want to access Django admin. So I'm just going to run my server for the moment. Then I'm going to go ahead and press enter. And here I am. Now to access Django admin, of course, you need a super user. So let's create one quickly. So we can say python manage.py create super user. Leave them the default, skip email and enter in a password for my super user. Can run my server. There we go, perfect. So let's refresh. And now we can just sign into Django Admin. All right, so then we can log into our Django Admin. 
And then here we can see we can have the cache cleaner app. We can go to caches. We'll have our default cache here automatically set up. So all that we need to do to clear the cache is click here on the checkbox, go to the action, which means clear selected caches. Go ahead and say go. And then we can see here we've cleared our default cache here within our Django admin and we're good to go. All right, so there we have it. So that's how you can go ahead and integrate a Django cache cleaner to clean your cache in the essential manner. Now, in this case here, I just focused on showing you how you can clear your entire cache. Now, there is an option to clear uh, individual caches here, so I'm not going to delve into too much detail of that. But to ensure that you clean your overall cache here, so your entire cache, what you can do is, of course, the following here that has been set in instructions and also to use the clear all caches command here as dictated here. OK, now the default cache here, of course, is what you can use um, if there's only one cache in place, which we already have. But that is how we can go ahead and ensure that we clean our caches within Django. All right, guys, so that's it for this video tutorial on using a cache cleaner in Django. So as always, thank you for the support and I'll see you next time. Thank you again and goodbye.